Let's have a look at part B in this video. Suppose that Eleanor's preferences are different now. So it goes L and then H and then M. I wrote it over here like that. Now, would we have a stable outcome in this case? And what if we set the agenda? So pretty much replicate what we did in part A, but with slightly different preferences. The method is the same. We're still using this pairwise majority, meaning we take sets of two options to compare, right? They compete against each other. And then we see what the final outcome would be. So for instance, if we compare M versus H, so medium versus high, let me just zoom out because we'll need more space over here. Otherwise, uh, we'll have to scroll down too much. So medium versus high over here in part B, medium versus high. Uh, we, we start with that medium high. What, what would be the results? Let's count. How many votes would we have? Medium over high. John would go for medium. So we have one vote over here. Eleanor, we compare this one. This is her new uh, set of preferences. So high is better than medium. She would go for high. And Abigail, high is better than medium as well. So we have two highs, one medium, meaning high would win in this case, whereas before medium won. So the results are different now. It's one versus two, one versus two for high. So we got that. Now let's compare the second set, which is M, ver uh, sorry, high versus L. Let's just replicate the same thing. High versus, versus low. So John, John goes for low. Low is preferred over high. Eleanor goes for low because it's preferred over high. It's first rank versus the second. So we have two L's. Abigail, high over low. So one vote for high, meaning the score would be one versus two for L. So one versus two, one versus two for L. Now one more set. The final one is M versus L. So we have over here M versus L, medium versus low. John goes for medium. We have one vote for medium. Eleanor goes for uh, low. Low is first preference. Medium is only third. Abigail goes for medium as well, right? Medium is above L. So we have two votes for medium, one vote for L, meaning that the score would be the score would be 2 1 for medium. 2 1 for medium. What can we notice here? We have no clear pattern. Like these are the winners of the first round. And again, we have three sets to compare because we have three choices. And we, when we compare to the three sets, we saw that we cannot get to a stable outcome. Why is that? Because look, if we compare H and L, right? L is preferred over high. So we, we can see that L is preferred over high. When we compare, for instance, H with M, H with M, M is pref sorry, H with M, H is preferred over M. So H is preferred, H is preferred over M. And when we compare the final one, we, when we compare uh, what's left, medium and low, when we compare medium with low, medium is preferred over low, medium, let me change colors for that, medium is preferred over low. So what do we see here? There is, there is no, uh, how do you call that, transitivity, right? We cannot say, we cannot say that if we prefer the first option over the second and the second over the third, we must prefer the first option over the third. This does not hold over here. We have, we have um, something else. So we do not have a stable outcome, no stable result. So the idea is this, although, although we had transitive preferences over here, meaning that just like I said, 15 seconds ago, prefer the medium over low, low over high. It means that we prefer medium over high. When we do that individually, person by person, it does not necessarily mean that we will do that collectively when we compare by pairwise. That's what this is showing us. Hope this makes somewhat sense. In the next video, we'll see what if we set the agenda.